السلام عليكم ورحمة الله بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله أما بعد In the story of Yusuf alayhi salam Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us how Yaqub engaged his situation specifically when Yaqub alayhi salam started to feel that his children going to Egypt to get some supplies and coming back there's something strange going on here. And Yaqub alayhi salam, from the dream that Allah tells us in the beginning of this surah, he knows Yusuf alayhi salam is still alive. He doesn't know where he is. So when this started to happen, he started to have his speculations. Is this Yusuf alayhi salam? And Yaqub alayhi salam sends his children back. And now with his other son, Bin Yamin. And he tells them the following advice. يَا بَنِي أُدْخُلُوا لَا تَدْخُلُوا مِنْ بَابٍ وَاحِدًا وَادْخُلُوا مِنْ بَابٍ مِنْ أَبْوَابٍ مُتَفَرِّقَةٍ Oh my children, don't all enter from one door. Rather, go into groups, into different doors into the city. Yaqub a.s. is telling them this because he knows that when a man comes with his, mashallah, 11 children, 12 children, and they're all, you know, they're all grown-ups and عَقَدْ حَالْهُمْ as we say in Arabic. They are pretty... Pretty impressive looking that people begin to have jealousy of them that problems start because of that jealousy so he told them take the means to prevent that he understood and at the end of the verse Allah what does he tell us Yaqub had knowledge and so he knew how to send his children he knew the threats that threatened his children and he knew how to deal with them. But he also understood something else. There's nothing I can do for you if Allah decrees something else. I can't protect you from Allah. And so the ultimate protection is from Allah. And on top of that, his knowledge, He had knowledge because Allah gave him knowledge. And here we have the two most important Parenting tools, knowledge. We need to know as parents what's going on in the environment of our children. This doesn't mean spying upon them, but it means watching the, the movies and the shows that they watch, listening to the music that they hear, understanding what they're learning in school, understanding the challenges of our time. And as parents, we must do that. I don't have time. I don't know how. Well, I asked the mothers, if your child starts to sneeze and has a runny nose, do you know what medicine to give him or her? They know. Do you know what foods to give them and what foods not to give them? They know because they would take them to the doctor and they would research it online until they became uncertified physicians. That's how mothers are. For the fathers, do you not overlook the financial well-being of your family? Are you not thinking about the tuition of your children and managing all of that? Well, decades ago, you didn't know how to do that, but you learned how to do that. Well, what about the spiritual health of our children? Shouldn't we take time to learn about the spiritual viruses that are all around us and how to find it and how to notice it in our children and how to cure it? This is what the Yusuf السلام, the story of Yusuf and Yaqub السلام, is teaching us. We have to do that. And then the second point to realize the threats all around us, no one person can deal with it all. Our children must go out on their own sooner or later. They will be in school away from your eyes. They have all the technologies to do the things without you knowing. But we have Allah who knows all, who sees all, and protects all. And as our wali, subhanahu wa ta'ala, as our guardian, Allah is the one who overlooks our children and protects them. But we have something to do in that regard and say, oh Allah, protect our children. Oh Allah, I can only do so much. I can only learn so much. I am trying to do what is necessary, but I need you to teach me and I need you to guide me and I need you to protect and guide my children. That's how it works. But when we do that, we succeed bi-idhnillahi ta'ala. And so we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give us the knowledge and to protect our children. Ameen, ya Rabbil alameen. So a few quick announcements. Uh, we have